Hello, hello. It's me again. Me and my soul stone survivors. What's going on, people? We are going to be doing barbaric cleavers. Going in with the cleavers, and we're going to be going for bloody saw. We're going to be rolling like a heavy bleed build here. Definitely going to take in double slash. We're going to be trying to go very heavy. Um. Debuff build, I guess, is the, the best way of putting that. So, that's multiplied by block power. Bulwark gives block power. What is Electrified? Oh yeah, Electrified does damage and does things. So, I don't know if I want to go for Flurry. Flurry's decent. I want to go, for sure, Shattered, so Armor Shatter, Bloody Saw, Earthquake, Double Slash. I think Chain Lightning, because it gives Distracted, right? So, boom, 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 boom. Then... kind of want to have a source of prowess. Oh wait, I already have one. Armor Shatter. <laughs> Got him. Is there anything else that I want prowess wise though? I don't know. I guess I'm going to look for it while we're in there and see what I can suss out. Might go for the shout if I can get it. Hmm. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. We're just gonna jump right in the deep end. All right, we're gonna go five curse intensity. Cool. Uh, roll, roll on. Thank you. Okie doke. Magnetic is good. I like increased pickup distance. Okay, so we got Piercing Shout here. Seems to be pretty rare. Uh, we also have Bloody Saw. Let's hold Bloody Saw, pick up Piercing Shout. We also have to think, we've got Bulwark here on the Whirlwind. We also have Throw Axe that's there. Hurls an Axe, returns to you causing damage, gain finesse traits. Okay, so I'm going to pick up Piercing Shout. And then... <clears throat> oh man, we got a heck of a run here. Ooh. Hello. Let's lock that lethality, pick up this bloody saw. I want to be careful about how much I'm locking things. Okay, cool. Lethality was a good choice there. We had pretty dooky other rolls, so... Probably would have been in all three, uh... Would have been in all three commons. The old triple commons going on there. Then there's... This... But we want double slash. Double slash is our jams. So now we've got double slash coming in. Ooh. Reroll. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. Powerful strikes. Thank you. Mm, 
no to your Leviathan. Thank you. I'm going to take more magnetic here. Okay, so... What do I want to do here? Um... Banish, banish. Don't want Scent of Blood. Don't want Savage Strike. Chain Lightning. I don't want Seismic. I do want Armor Shatter and Chain Lightning, I do believe. Yeah. Armor Shatter is big. We actually want for damage. We want some other things. Uh, bloodshed's better here, ultimately, because then we're going to start stacking bleed on everything. <laughs> Let's go. More lethality. 24% crit on everything right now. Okay, so now we've got... Banish on Resonant, Banish on Boulder, Banish Lightning Bolt. Okay, reroll. Okay, we've got Earthquake here. Earthquake is one of the more important ones. Because we can get rid of Throw Axe for this. Hello? There we go. This gives us persistent area damage that can do absolutely devastating things to an enemy. Like that. Boom. More for that. Uh, da, 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 da. We get Bulwark. Shatter. Let's bleed. Or bulwark there. I think this is actually great. I'm gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock that in. Um, let's go area of effect for our stuff. More bleed. I know how powerful the bleeds and stuff can get. Uh, every time you apply finesse, you have a chance to gain bulwark. We've got like three things. They give us finesse. That'll give us even more bulwark, which will keep us safe. Well, safer. Ooh, agile. Oh, man. Uh, damage of whirlwind. Go. What's this? Increase the damage modifier of all your swing type skills. Yeah. Huh. More dash. I'm in with more dash. We don't really need a ton of more dash, though, because, well, it's useful, but not quite as useful as something like Vicious Strikes. Love that. Um, it's not as useful as other more potent um, Oh, wow. Yeah, our swing types give us a chance to cast Earth abilities. Uh, we have we have other things that could potentially be very potent, I'll we'll say. What are we going here? Ooh, area modifier. Man, look at how many of those we're getting now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Increase area modifier of all your skills with type area. Well that is three No, that's that's five of our six abilities. That's that's a lot. We're already getting a pretty a pretty hefty area going on. Multicast. 
And look at that bleed stack up. Woo-wee! Uh, da 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 Going for attack speed. Thank you. War experience. More bulwark. I'm in. Don't mind if I do? Piercing shout. Dodge out of the way of all that. Multicast on whirlwind plus forty-eight percent. Absolutely, bud. I feel like once you get to a certain point of multicast, you just keep chaining the ability together, and it just keeps you know, like it keeps casting constantly. I wonder if that's how it works, or if you actually have just like a certain amount of multicasts. Like every time you cast it, it's got a chance to, and then the chance, or the, the number of multicasts is based upon how many times you've rolled over 100%, so each cast is five casts and blah blah blah, but if your cooldown comes up faster than that, it just keeps casting more and more. Seems probable. Ooh, bigger bloody saws. Yes, please. That's one of those situations where it definitely helped to have a decent bit of, uh, you know, dodges available. Are we looking at this for damage? Kind of. I mean, the damage on the Piercing Shout is not bad by any means. But it's very slow for what it is. Let's go cast Frequency. I think that'll be more helpful overall. Worry about its damage later. Get it doing its debuff now. Ooh, big earthquakes. More bulwark? You're kidding me. Okay. I gotta say, I love getting early magnet going. Whenever they give me early, like, blue magnet, magnet, purple magnet, uh, these things are just beautiful. Means you just get a lot more XP flowing early. I don't have to worry about it so much. Yeah, roll one. Why not? Okay, everything without swing gets... Okay. Gets more multicast. I'm in. Multicast at 48% there. There. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see... Let's go damage mod for this. Beautiful. More relentless. <clears throat> Casting things more frequently is what we need right now. Like seriously what we need right now. That man thought he was going to outspin to win me. That's never going to happen, pal. I kind of like the uh, the opacity down here at like 30%. Makes the effects neat. You can kind of tell where all your stuff is so that you know. But it's not so overwhelming that you're just dying. <laughs> Q 
can't see the little things on the ground and whatnot. I don't know, I might keep it here, we'll see. Ooh. Going for that speed. You know I gotta go for the speed. Wow, purple relentless. Nice. We're at 3.8 seconds. There, 0.8 seconds there. I mean, we are we are all about it right now. We're zooming. Ooh, gain aptitude. Increases the critical damage modifier by 2% for 6 seconds. So whenever we get Bulwark, we're getting a 25% a chance of aptitude. Oh my gosh, look at how much Bulwark we're getting, though. It's so wild. Um, hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll increase the damage modifier on that. Hey, hey, 200 lords gave us blade storm, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see, we went red last time, purple this time, huh? Purple this time. Win a match with all the cursed tiers up to tier one. Build Ballista. Builds a Ballista at your position for a few seconds and fires bolts at nearby enemies, causing damage. Ooh, let's go. I want that so bad. <laughs> I want I want that. I want a whole summon character. That's what I want. Gosh dang it. Ooh, Laceration is huge here. We are spinning to win. Uh, casting frequency, yes, please. Down to a 3.3, beautiful. I'd love to get something that like, every time we cast a slash thing, potentially casts, you know, our empowering skill or whatever, that'd be great. I don't know if that's a deal, but if it is, please, would love it. Area modifier of Whirlwind. I know from past experience that Whirlwind can be an insane, um, an insane boon if you let it. Holy crap. 50% <laughs> area for everything. Boom. Now look at how big our stuff is. Holy, holy cannolis. Look at us spinning. Spin, 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 spin. Even more big. Man, they keep just hiding all the good stuff back here. What the heck? So for every finesse, we have a 38% chance to get six bulwark. Dude, our bulwark is gonna be dumb. Multicast of double slash, I'm in. Let's see. Wow. That's, uh, that's Umfa right there, bud. Wow, huge damage up there. Absolutely critical damage up there. Look at how much damage we're throwing out right now. That's, it, it's dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, we stack up bleeds and stuff so gosh dang fast on things. And then on top of that, the bleeds are so strong. Area of effect on swing skills, yup. Hey, some Merciless, I'm in. I know that technically I could be taking Laceration a bunch here, 
and doing some pretty crazy things with that. Just having that laceration thing stack up and up and up and up. But I don't know that that's necessarily going to result how I wish it to. No to Leviathan. No thank you. Okay, for each skill, increase critical chance of the... Yeah, wow. Good golly, man. You get both the... <laughs> you get brittle stacking on everything, and then you get... Oh my gosh brittle and bleed and everything all together it just makes this build so busted RNG's being nice to us today. Being nice to us today. I like it. Hey, now we're bleeding and poisoning. Damage increase to literally everything? Sure, why not? Well, almost literally everything. More aptitude. That's that's dangerous right there. Look at how fast that poison stacks up, dude. It's so busted. <laughs> it's so busted. Yes. Multicast for oh my gosh, that's there we go, 120% multicast on Earthquake. So now we're just everywhere. Holy crap, they are all over the place. Skill chain, swing makes slam. You bet, bud. I would love more armor shatter. Yes, please. Shredding armor again. Gotta go for it. Again, aptitude. Every single stack of aptitude brings us... Brings us 2% critical damage. That means we are now at 200% crit damage, and all we're doing is just continuing to do the same thing we've been doing, which is spin to win. Multicast of Bloody Saw, yep. Sold. More Bulwark means more everything. Oh my gosh, look at how fast it went. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, that is insane. Critical strikes now apply bleed. Even more bleed damage. And since we're basically 100% crit, that's just... Yeah. That's a lot more bleed stacks. Oh my gosh, stuff's not even making it on screen at this point. And we are five curse intensity. Tier one curses. We're getting a crap ton more materials, prestige, soul stones, the whole deal. Absolutely give me more frequency there. We're down to 2.5 seconds on the piercing shout. Love that. Gimme, give gimme. Give Show me the victory. Uh, bloodshed, all attacks. Now apply stronger bleed. Yes, sir. Oh, that's so, just so busted.
Holy crud, dude. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep going here. We have most definitely the potential to uh, go a very long ways here. Okay, multicast for Whirlwind going up. That's not bad. Oh man, those are both phenomenal. That one affects multiple skills though, as much as I hate to give it up. Okay. Area of effect. I know I passed on all attacks applying poison, but that's okay. I don't really need that to be a thing. Um, bloodshed here, so our bleed's stronger. That was part of what made our other build so strong back in the very first run, was we went for this kind of bleed hybrid build, but uh, our poison got to a point where we were applying so much poison in one one go that it was just absolutely stupid. Let's see. Power increase. Ooh, shredding armor again. There it is. Even more. We're now steadily over 100, it looks like. Or semi-steadily. Debilitating Plague. We now apply Doom as well. Oh boy. Even more Bulwark. Why not? <clears throat> 300 Bulwark. Okay. With that much block power, we don't block something? Question mark? Sure. All attacks now apply doom. Later, brother. Wow. Huge, 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 huge poison bonus. Uh, powerful strikes for sure. Bloodshed. Laceration. Oh, man. Nice sequence there. Nice, nice sequence there. Gonna go after the bleeding. Multicast on the whirlwind. Nice. That means faster casting for everything else. Sharp blades, more crit on everything. More crit means more status effects. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just minorly shredding here. Just minorly. What the heck? All attacks now apply doom. Sure. Damage increase on the bloody saw, I guess. I mean, it's there. Shrug. I'm saving my locks for when I get, like, two epics or two, you know, whatever. Like this. Where I've got something fantastic to get, but also have something else that I really just cannot pass up. I guess I'm locking this one again because skill chain is absolutely happening. Boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Get melted, brother. <laughs> Get melted. What the heck? That was an absolutely busted moment. <laughs> That's how I want to be right there. I just want to be, I want to be smashing the world. Infected wounds, critical strikes, now apply poison. Okay. <laughs> like corrosive is huge here and I'll probably lock it to be fair. But infected wounds has got to happen. So now we're applying just stupid amounts of poison, stupid amounts of bleed. Kind of stupid amounts of doom too, honestly. Ooh, what's that new buff we're getting there? Oh, that's prowess. Oh, our armor shatter's getting up there to the point where we're starting to, uh, like, heavily shatter out and, and just get a ton of prowess going on. Wow. That's, like, beyond dumb. Okay, bud. Man, we're gonna have so many of those stones by the time we're done here. I wonder if we can go, like, ten layers deep. I'm, I'm curious. I bet you we probably could. With this build? Heck. I see no reason why we couldn't. Big magnets. You gotta go, but I need magnets. Whenever I see magnets, magnets are getting prioritized. Death and decay is great, don't get me wrong, but. Ooh, big agile there. Oh, look at this go. My man. What the heck is this level? Stop it. Ugh. Um. Multicast. Go for that. Keep us multicasting out. Whenever you apply poison, a portion of total damage costs instantly in addition to the normal effect. Oh my god. Uh huh? Yeah, we're we're absolutely destroying things right now. I'm all out of locks. Give me the magnetic there. Whenever you cast a Type thrust instantly. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh wait, we have one more lock. Let's go. <laughs> Give. Now we're going to be constantly casting the, the shattering shout or piercing shout. The amount of bulwark we're getting is stupid. This is not okay. Send help. <laughs> the game has lost its mind right now. What is this RNG? Surely they're kidding. Look at how fast we're just melting 10 million health bosses. It's it's just not even not even a contest. Oh my gosh, they never had a chance! They had nothing! <laughs> they are just getting destroyed. 400 bulwark we have. Oh my gosh. And 200 aptitude. Hmm, more debilitating plague. Yeah, sure, why not? Merciless, love that. Relentless, love that. 
2.3, we're at 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 2.0. Not bad. Whenever you apply Doom, you may now apply Burn as well. Okay, bud. Like we needed that in any way, shape, or form. I don't know about all this. I think the game's lost its mind. But I'm going to trust it. Game seems to know what it's doing. I'm going to push corrosive here. Step away from the chase rarity idea and, and kind of be a little more tactical. As long as the, you know, the rarity ones aren't fantastic already. I'm going to start picking up a little bit of resilient. More area, more whatever, blah, blah, blah. All sounds great. But it it's not any good if you get one shot, so. Spontaneous combustion. Agile for speed. <clears throat> Pretty much just looking for something to spawn underneath me damage-wise. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here. Why not? Powerful strike. I don't even know if a boss can get to me right now. Let's see. Bloodshed. Yeah, I'd say so. He definitely could get to me. Still shredding out armor. What the heck is going on? We're probably like 14% per, per bulwark here. Like, we're getting so much. Our critical damage is so insane. Keep going multicast until we get to 100% there. I feel confident that we can get to, you know, four or 500% multicast and just. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Thermal shock. Whenever you apply burn, you may now apply slow as well. Uh. <laughs> okay, bud. No way, man. Now you're kidding me. I'm gonna do this because I'm just almost afraid of making it too easy here. Like, how far can we take this at this point? With how fast we're putting on these bits of damage and whatnot. Like, what the heck? Corrosive. Thank you. All of the slow! <laughs> All the slow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it is so crazy. <laughs> yeah! Bring it on, people. That's tough. Didn't work out for you. Dang, brother. Could have gone for more multicast there, but I wanted to go for the, the old spin to win. Get that spin to win even bigger. Hitting stuff further out. Always worth it. Keep the agile built up as well so that we can, you know, hopefully um, dodge things as they pop. Seven 
70 million health, by the way. 70 million health. Okay, bud. I'm sure there's people who do, like, get runs that go up into the billions and trillions and quadrillions, whatever. Just some, some sheer insanity. But so far, this is one of the most impressive runs I've ever had. So I'm thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> I just blocked that. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Nice. More more slam. More insta-slam. Love that. That's more armor shatter. Or more armor shatter, more good. Uh, fiery amplification. Yeah, sure. Why not? Burn now does damage more frequently. Okay. Okay, a hundred. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woof. All right, bud. Now we're now we're swinging. Now we got to bring it down to a point two. Dismemberment. Whenever you apply bleed, a portion of the total damage is caused instantly, in addition to the normal effect. There it is. That's gonna. Yep. Uh huh. That's gonna chunk things. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get some more max health. Let's go a little bit of defense here. Huh? That seems good. Um, magnet. Give me more magnet. Multicast for the everything. Yeah, over 100%. Oh Love it, that. What the heck just happened? Did you see that? It went from like, everything's kind of okay to wham, just instantly its whole health bar became poison. What was that? Yeah, I'm just going to keep going with the bleed there. I want to keep pushing our bleed to absolute limits. I feel like for some reason the... Um, the damage modifiers are applying to poison, but not to bleed. We must go deeper. Again, this is just wild. Look at how fast we're killing right now. Easily, what, 15 to 20 enemies per second? More poison, sure. Ooh, wow. I mean, it's legendary, right? Gotta take it. I don't even know how much health that guy had. A bunch is probably a safe answer. 
nice, more more instant earth skills. Just putting uh, putting earthquakes everywhere, man. <laughs> okay, bud. More um <laughs> more piercing shout too. I want those chain abilities. I want it to be maxed. I want 100% chaining for my earth and my shout. I just want it everywhere, dude. Okay, thermal shock, come in. Now we do a portion of our doom instantly? What, are we gonna do a portion of our, well, we're gonna do a portion of our burn instantly as well at some point, once we get lucky enough to have it pop. Okay, debilitating plague, always good. And there it goes. Just, I don't know what it is, man. It ramps up and then just there goes their whole health bar. Okay, area of effect. I'm in. Big areas, much effect. Hey, some spontaneous combustion. Uh, huh. Okay, bloodshed it is. Okay. Uh, that's, that's alright. Just pick up more poison here. My gracious. The slaying has commenced. We have achieved the dumb. Tens of millions, hundreds of millions of damage. Super duper fast. Oh man, multicast for all those powers. Yup, there we go. I was gonna say that's that's gonna be pretty huge. Get another layer of multicast on everything. Okay, bud. Sure. Actually, I'm gonna take Magnet here.
corrosive is good. Even faster. I wonder if there's like hard caps or something. That was an interesting billion hit points. Later, bud. Okay. A little bit more multicast there. 24% each. 288% on Bloody Saw. Our laceration is pretty low, which might be part of the reason that the uh, poison is so much stronger. We're kind of hard focusing that that blue magnetic right there. That's what I'm hard focusing. Yes, sir. <laughs> you okay, bud? Give me that damage. Okay, more critical. I mean, I don't think we really need it necessarily, but again, I, I like to keep it simple. If it seems like something could potentially exist, then why not go for it, right? Like, um, the, the potential of, oh wow, ignition point. There we go, more burn, bye. Multicast for Earthquake, insane. Uh, like the potential of super crits, right? I don't know if they exist, but if they do, I want them. Thermal Shock, cool. We are now getting a rather stupid amount of slow on things. More whirly do. Oh, okay. So anything that's not swing gets damage buff. Got it. In many a way, hmm. In many a way, this uh, this run or this run may not end. <laughs> but there's also the distinct feeling that I have, which is that we're going to eventually just catch a one shot somewhere. <laughs> if I'm not careful. Like I gotta, gotta be extra careful with this. Critical strikes may now apply poison. Okie doke. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab that because that's a huge poison up. It's doubling our current poison. Armor shred, twenty percent each. What the heck? One more for this round. Like, enemies are staying alive semi-decently, but what is this? Increase all damage received by a random amount between negative 0.5% and 2.5% for eight seconds. Okay.
Huh. So I'm curious if that means that I can actually heal the enemy for just a brief moment. Or what? I guess that would... Either that or it just deducts, you know, X percentage from damage, but... Whatever, I guess. That's a lot of disarray. More slam, more good, more give. Oh my gosh, we are going all in on this run. Goodbye bats. That's a lot of dead bats. Multicast for the earthquake. Sure. I think this is where our other build was having just like a really difficult time with things, but look at us just melt through. Oh my gosh. Actually, it might have been last area that was a big problem for our other build. Still, though, we're just like, we're just eating through these things like they're nothing. Wow, we block so much right now. Hypothermia. Whenever you apply slow, you may now apply disarray as well. Chance up to 75%. Now it's minus 1% up to 5%. Okay. Big area of effect. I don't know what, like, the potential good or bad of that is. I mean, I guess it could potentially drop my damage a lot, but... I don't know. It also feels like that could be beyond broken in oh so many ways. Whatever it is, we're doing truckloads of damage right now. And not even having to really put forth a ton of effort on it. Whenever you apply Disarray, you may now apply Bleed as well. <laughs> what the heck? Are we just creating an infinite circle of, like, stackables? I am kind of floored. How fast are we going to stack on this boss? that fast, apparently. Uh, okay. It's kind of weird doing everything like this. Like, it's, it's just so... Simplistic. Everything's running itself for the most part. But also, we have just like little bits of input that have to happen every once in a while. And we did we did just get to uh, verbalize there. We did 
just get the uh, percentage of burn dealt as instant damage. It just keeps getting more intense the further on we get. It's so crazy, it builds up just a little bit and then it's like, okay, bwomp, and just deletes a boss. Unreal, man. Sharp blades, yes sir. Okay, Touch of Ice is good to pick up here. We, we don't have that one yet. And that's just going to skyrocket the amount of slower... Oh my gosh, things are basically going to a crawl after a minute there. That's insane. 72% for anything not Slash. Oh my gosh, look at how much gosh dang multicast they have. Wow, we. I wonder if there. I mean, this has got to be like it's it's endless, right? So we're just yeah, endless mode cycle. So these are just going to continue to get stronger until eventually we lose. Yeah, it's gotta gotta do, gotta be. Look at that. 4 million percent enemy health, and we are still just cutting through these like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> more, more slow on, on hit. of damage popping up on just common mobs. <laughs> sure, we'll take some unbreakable. It's the only one we've got in this whole run. Sure, bud. Sure, sure, sure. Sign me up. I want to get to like 10 completions. I want to I wanna go through and have 10 corrupted soul stones when I go back so I can guarantee I can get those next two levels that I'm really wanting. When you apply disarray, you now apply bleed. Yes, sir. Give me more. Unfreaking real, dude. I controller this? I can. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be lazy with the controller. Let me in. There we go. Now I just have my thumb in a very natural, relaxed position. And I don't have to worry about <clears throat> doing whatever. I can just zip around. Um, yeah, let's go frequency here. Playing this with a controller, vastly superior to playing on a keyboard. I I won't lie. Which that is that is a phrase you will <laughs> talk about things that you you think you're rarely ever gonna say in life. That's one of them for me. Some other things you might say you know, rarely like. Boy, howdy! That was a fun dragon ride. Wowee, look at that unicorn. Let's 
It's kind of on that level. <laughs> I'm not. I am not a. Uh, I'm not a big controller guy. I mean, I've. So I've, pl I've played games with controller. I used to be pretty fantastic with controller once upon a day, but I don't know. <clears throat> Just been such a big uh, been such a big PC guy for so long that um, it's not that I specifically have a dislike of consoles or controllers for that matter. It's just I have so much love for PC that I just don't I don't play them often. And if I'm honest, I I will say this, nowadays I actually do not care for console as much as PC because it's a lot more expensive to play on console. People will be like, wait, what? What do you mean? Well, when you think about it, console has to buy every single game, like at market value. And kind of gets screwed. <laughs> and the fact that their their console is always out of date, there's always some new update, some new, new trinket, new thing, new whatever. And most of it costs a crap ton of money. For me, I mean, I've I've had a, I've had a computer for a decade, and not had to upgrade a thing. Just you know, adjust some settings here and there, whatever. Everything's fine. Whoa, I'm glad it's getting a lot of HP. Which it could just be luck of the draw kind of thing, right? Like, I, I just got really lucky with, you know, I bought the right, or, or you know, it could be pre-planning. I don't know. This depends on how you look at it. I like to think that I, I bought good hardware that I knew was going to last. Alright, so my, my dash is on left bumper. Kill. So, you know, I wonder if that's kind of a contributing factor to it. Maybe not everybody makes the best decisions around their computers and stuff, but I like to think I make some decent ones and have always tried to make some decent choices with my systems. And that has yielded to me a lot of continual function and security with my my PCs. But then on top of that, I mean, we have Steam sales, so. <laughs> that, that right there just completely sets the market. How do you compete with, you know, the, uh, like, the biggest PC marketplace just putting, you know, tens of thousands of games on sale for 75% off. Well, truth is, you really can't. It's just like the, the consoles just cannot maintain like that. Wow, one trillion health. And away it goes. Controller is so comfy. Speaking of that, I was looking at getting an Azurin keypad because it's basically a like a PC controller that's actually intending to replace the, the keyboard and everything. But you've got your little thumbstick for movement and, and all that kind of stuff, a bunch of programmable buttons. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than the, the Azurin keypad, in my opinion. Because it's kind of the best of all the above, right? I, I get the extreme comfort of playing on a console with the precision and the, like, 
I guess you could say the um the upper limits of playing on PC, right? PCs can kind of push push games to their absolute peak, be it by raising or lowering graphic settings, right? You can either optimize for your performance by lowering or you can you can really push for the stars by raising those settings. So getting something like a like one of their cyborg pads or whatever sounds fantastic, but I was also Oh, what was it called? There's something like a Master Forge or whatnot. It's this like crazy looking keyboard thing where it's almost like a it, it's almost like a controller thumbstick. Like all the different keys are like controller thumbsticks. And you you push, pull them, bop them, whatever to get the different key responses. And I was just thinking, man, that is so heckin' cool. <laughs> the thing is so freaking cool. What is this? When are we played Okay, yeah, more bleed. Okay, thank you. I need to apply more disarray now, though. I'd be glad to. I'd be glad to apply much more disarray. But yeah, I've seen. I've seen something about. I, I think it was called Master Forge. I swear it was. But that thing, you know, increases your typing speed exponentially. Once you, once you get used to it, just the simplicity of it makes your typing skyrocket and thus your input speeds right your ability to chain inputs has to improve because you are um, able to you know make inputs faster and everything <laughs> yes. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. Horrific presence. Now everything can put. We got them. This is insane. If I ever randomly just stop a, uh, a whole story or train of thought, don't be alarmed. I'm not, I'm not just having like a mental breakdown or fit. It's just ADHD coming out of the blood. My brain got distracted by something, and then I've decided that... Well, I haven't decided anything. ADHD decided that it was time to move on. <laughs> and so, there I am. <laughs> Whew. All right, guys. Enough of the body blocking. Unacceptable. You think this is football? Oh, wow. So we can get things like ruin more than once. That is dumb. Oh man, I really hope there's a thing to increase the rarity of things that we can get, because that would be so cool. Um, man, I kind of want to just keep pushing, but I don't know. Ooh, 
do I push? Yeah, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna do one more push. I think this is probably the the very last of what this build is capable of doing right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we're now we're talking. We're we're really slowing down a bit here. Both in terms of frame rate and in terms of uh just kill speed. We're lucky to creep out a solid like 10 kills per second or so. I mean, I don't know. Let's see how our boss kill speed is. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty bad. 30 billion hit points. I think we're actually going to have to be... We're actually going to have to be using some... Dodges and things to get out of the way. I don't know. I, I think we're actually going to be reaching critical mass as far as uh, how many things we're applying. We're just going to be reaching upper limits, which it looks like right around 2,000 maybe? 3,000? For some things? That's a lot. That is a heckin' lot. Almost that one shot I was talking about. Okay. Horrific presence is good. Oh, that actually boosted our damage quite a bit. I just love the music of this game. I want this OST. I want it bad. This is good. Like, beyond just good, this is fantastic. This is like trying to get to Burger King before the breakfast stops. Good. If you put this on, man, you will be going. Until you get to the just standard jams. It's the the standard ones are good. They're like, you know, if you're looking for something to just kind of put on in the background and basically forget it exists, that's the kind of music that the the general thing. It, it it's really good. Just background, you know, lyricless music to kick around to and obliterate things. More corrosive, thank you. Wow. He almost got us there. Excuse me, lads. Coming through. Ow. Yeah, this is definitely our, our final area. If we can make it through. I'm just going to have to play super duper careful. Okay, 
give me some more burn damage. More stacks, more burn. Ooh, what is that effect? Little, like, no weapon thing. I wonder what that is. being extremely careful means that this this run section is going to take a lot longer but that's okay Ooh, hey there guys do not trap me thank you see what we can do here. We got three more bosses and they are tough. Brutally tough. Combustion good. me fellas. Man, we're starting to get a good bit of chop here. You know, I haven't run into anything that heals, but if they didn't put anything in that heals, I could understand why. Honestly. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> Almost got me with the laser beam there, pal. Almost got me with the laser beam. Psalm. Last couple trillion HP. are so rare right now. Wishing we had some. Two more bosses. Two more. Two more. You got a touch of ice. Keep things slow. I don't know what good it does, but just keep things slow. Thank you.
Wow, we can darn near just dash forever. Because of how much area we hit, we still end up killing at a pretty decent rate, which is insane, considering how strong everything is. I mean, these enemies have, you know, a hundred billion hit points. The bosses have a hundred trillion hit points. It's, it's absolutely nuts. More bleed damage, thank you. I'm wondering if there aren't things that give, like, you know, plus, um, plus percentage chance to have, you know, mega rare things pop up more often. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. There's so many bad guys. Okay, here we go. Nope. Thank you. I don't want exploding stuff by me. Nope. Escape out of there. No, no. All it takes is one mistake right now, and we're dead. Feels like I'm part of some really, you know, theatrical action movie. Oh my god, no. Oh. So lucky that we didn't die there. I'm so busy focusing on boss attacks, I've lost track of the enemies for a second and ran right into a crowd. Just didn't recover fast enough, didn't hit my button. We're getting so much skip, so much chop. It's not affecting the encoding, surprisingly. Like the recording stable and everything, but my god, there's so just so much happening. So many little e elite enemies following us around. I think it's because I was staying in one place though, because now I'm out here kind of free roaming and not getting that issue. There's just not as many things following us. Okay, so Horrific Presence gives us more there. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, the last one's the Plague, dude, too. Oh, man. This could be brutal. get to take a crack at the final boss we'll see what we get I don't know I don't know if I can pull this off but let's let's find out huh I believe we have that potential oh it's Alfred Okay. Just gonna 
circle big there. Trying to kind of change my direction abruptly. Oh, that was so close. I think if he had nicked us with that, we were absolutely dead there. Avoid that little clump of enemies. This is a battle of attrition. We're not trying to defeat him head on. We're trying to keep as many stacks as we can on him, and then just, other than that, stay out of his way. Saw that coming. Did not want to be boxed in by that. Nope. Should be very careful on placement. Don't pay attention to health, just keep moving. Holy crud. Yep, that was that was the last one. Wowie, so we did it. We went we went 10 deep on the endless cycle. Definitely over 100 prestige now at the barbarian. Man, look at that. The earthquake coming in absolutely supreme on damage. Three and a half million hits, 6234 active. That thing was active almost the entire heckin' time. Absolutely stupid how much damage that dealt. <laughs> I did not think that that would do it. There apparently are healing things. I don't know how, how many, but something there. But this, I mean, honestly, this was, uh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. So much damage coming in there. And I think the biggest thing is that a lot of the damage that these are dealing is being attributed here, right? I feel like the earthquake is getting the um, the biggest oomph, right? Because of the, what is it? Uh, brittle because of the brittle effect. I think brittle counts as that thing's damage. So when all of these, every last one of these is ticking damage, right? This is getting damage up. Which just goes to show how strong Earthquake is. Earthquake is absolutely insane. Alrighty, now we got some spending power. <laughs> Alright, this one. Go, go, boom. Reduce all damage taken by three. Boom, boom, there it is. Alright, okay, so. Earn skill points by increasing the prestige level of the Barbarian starting at level 20. The current number of skill points available is shown in the circle below. Okay. Rage unleashed. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Look at all that. Well, so there are unique skill trees for each character. The barbarian may now earn rage by killing enemies, being able to become enraged, receiving major improvements while the rage lasts. Okay. Potency of enraged benefits by an additional 1%. Whenever you cast any skill, you have 1% chance to gain finesse. Finesse. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, sure, why not? We'll, uh, we'll start maxing some of these out. Unlocks Falling Rune, Last Resort, increase the damage done by 20% while your health is below 30%. Okay. There we go. Pick up range modifier. Yes, please. So that one applies to all of our characters. We want to be on the lookout for those ones. Because that's just super good right there. <laughs> like, there's no... 
Increase your cast frequency by 0.3% per missing health point up to a maximum of 25%. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Increase damage modifier of all your slam abilities. So slam is a big one for them. Wow. So you can really detail out the, the setup here. I guess you can just keep going. No, I can't get it. Decapitator. Any direct damage causes 10% chance to kill enemies with less than 40% health instantly. The health threshold for Void, Lords of the Void, is 10%. Wow, that's bonkers. Okay. So I guess we're just kind of gaining gaining materials and going for it here just spending as much as we can to upgrade what we can for the time being oh that's right and we also have skill points to worry about so we'll we'll consider more when we figure out like what the limit is for the character levels Unless maybe that's the whole thing, is like you can continue to gain levels until whatever, but I could have swore there was an achievement for getting, like buying everything in the, um, in the barbarian skill tree. Could have swore that was a thing. Anyways, uh, let's see, blade storm slashes enemies around you quickly causing damage every 0.3 seconds. That's crazy. 20 hits every 10 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Character skill trees. Build Ballista. Let's see. There's a lot of achievements here. Uh, get prestige level, what have you. Is this, is this, this is characters, okay. Yeah, purchase all nodes in the spell blade skill tree there. Purchase all nodes in the barbarian skill tree. So we actually have to like Ooh. That's what gives us our our like super mega grandmaster barbarian. So we're 38% in. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Uh blacksmith. We don't have any platinum yet. I don't know how we get it. Very interesting. What's this? Okay, so last resort. That is the thing. And then adrenaline. We like you. Did we get anything else? Uh, recklessness. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so controlled chaos. I bet you controlled chaos affects the damage multiplier one also. And if that's the case, that is super duper helpful. Hmm. I really want controlled chaos. What do we have here? No. What's this? So skill mastery slam. We don't have anything there. Because it's something they wouldn't be able to do. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a lot of different uh, skill types here. Blast, arcane, ice, nature, projectile. It's a lot. That's a lot going on. I dig it, though. I really want the Tempest Battle Axes. Can be found in the following maps. The Scorching Valley. Okay. So, if we go here, we have to get to... Oh, that that is here. 
we would just have to uncommon materials. There it is. Okay, so we we would need to get into here. That gives us topaz though. Which we've already got topaz. We need we need like rare materials. So we need to be like three or four deep on that. Whispering Grove, Frozen Wastelands. And then that's probably, you know, like epic quality or whatever materials. Next level stuff. All right, well, for now, I really do enjoy kind of the play style of the Barbaric Cleavers. Skullbreakers, though, are also kind of insane. Uh, Colossal and everything is really strong, so maybe we do another Skullbreakers run. Hmm? Uh, in the next one. Maybe we do a Skullbreakers run. Hmm? set that up for the next one but for now that's it thanks so much for joining hope you have a wonderful rest of your day until the next one take care of yourselves be good to each other keep moving forward i'll see you then Bye bye